everybody, my name is JBM Travels, the true UK traveller, and welcome to this food review of Wilkerson's pies. Yes, so they have a Friday deal, which is about four pounds something. So I'm going to go inside and order it. So I will see you when I come back outside. Here is the pie, mash, and mushy peas which look amazing for £4.60 that is a bargain of a price now I'm going to try it and, and, and see how it tastes and see if it's any good there was quite a few people in there when I ordered so let's get into it and tuck in well I will tuck into it and let you know my thoughts of the pie and the other stuff that comes with it now, I'm going to try the mashy peas first. Mmm. Going to try the mash. Mmm. Now try the pie itself, which is really hard to cut with this plastic, with this um, wooden spoon. I mean wooden fork. Oh, so you know it is beef and ale pie. Mmm. That is so good. A combo of a bit of everything together. Mmm. Mm. That is really, really good. Really, really good. I mean it. That is. The mash has really good texture. The mushy peas. Are good. I'm starting to think Ali the best, probably not. That mash is really nice, creamy, and buttery. It has that flavour all to it, that buttery flavour. Yeah, just missing a bit of salt. On that, now I'll try it with a mixture of salt. Even better. Right, I'm gonna finish this pie, mash and mushy peas. The pie from Wilkinson's was actually, correction, I noticed as soon as I said what it was that I was wrong. It was a steak and ale pie, yes. And it cost me £4.70 with the mash and peas. Brilliant deal. And it is a Friday deal from Wilkinson Pies in Sandown. That is one of the best pies I've ever had in my life. The mash was really good, but I just thought it was a bit too buttery, a bit too sweet. Overpowering. That butter was too overpowering. I would have had less butter. Yeah. So the salt did help very well. I thought the mushy peas weren't great at all. The more I ate, the more I didn't want to eat them. They were bland, 
Disgusting. Disgusting. Yes. Absolutely disgusting. Yep. Overall, the pie was really, really good. I would give the pie overall a 9 out of 10. The mash a 7.7 7 out of 10. And the mushy peas a 4 out of 10. Now, I thought the pie was so good, it has so much flavour in the pastry, and there was so much flavour in the steak. The steak was nice and chewy, not too tough, and it was great colour. The pastry was nice and soft, not undercooked, just cooked perfectly, cooked to the touch. Yes, indeed. The best pie I've ever had probably in my life. Overall, I would give this an 8.1 out of 10. Only reason why it's getting so high a score is because the pie was on point and delicious. Absolutely scrumptious and delicious. I'm going to give you my verdict now on whether I recommend this place or not. So for the pie, I recommend it. For the mushy peas, I don't recommend it. And I'm going to say for the mash, it was too buttery. So I'm going to have to say skip on this one. Overall, I do recommend it. Only reason is because of the pie. It was one of the best pies I've ever had in my life. Probably the number one pie. And they are made freshly, in-house, yes. They are made daily, in-house, yep. So, that is my verdict of do I recommend it? And once again, I do. So, if you're ever in Sandown and you want a pie, and you want some gravy, I would say... Definitely check out Wilkinson Pies and go on a Friday if you like your mash and mushy peas. But for me, I didn't like that. Yes, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video or the very next food review video right after this one. Bye for now. Bye.